I've always wanted to own uh, my own business, but I couldn't imagine that I can I can do it very early in my career when I come to Canada. And I'm very grateful uh, for everything that I have at the moment. Nagina Shuri immigrated to Canada from Iran only three years ago, and she is on a mission to elevate the quality of life for women everywhere one medical device at a time. She invented a made-to-measure biodegradable and disposable intravaginal prosthetic for women suffering from pelvic organ prolapse. Pelvic organ prolapse is a condition that every one in 10 women around the world will uh, suffer from, and it includes uh, the descent of the pelvic organs such as bladder, uterus, or rectum down the vaginal canal. Nagin is a founder and interim CEO of startup Fem Therapeutics. She just won a prestigious Entrepreneur Award from MyTax, a national innovation organization that fosters growth by solving business challenges with research solutions from academic institutions. Because I was in a program called Surgical Innovation that was among uh, McGill, uh, Concordia and ETS University. That was where I got familiar with this topic and I got interested in finding solutions in this uh, area. Nagin was able to innovate and find a solution to an area of expertise that has not evolved in the past 50 years. Car treatments for pelvic organ prolapse include either going, undergoing a pelvic reconstruction surgery. These uh, current pestries, current um, in market pestries, um, are not fitting each patient's um, unique anatomy. So what we do is that we customize these pestries based on each patient's anatomy. The current pestries have 40% of failure rates because of their symmetrical and geometric shape. So they cause irritations, in some cases bleeding, and most often they uh, displace. So when the patient cough or, or um, are having different positions, uh, they displace and they fall out. That's why patients 40% of the time will discontinue using them and then um, go for a surgery. Nagin's invention is set to change the lives of millions of women around the world. And unfortunately, in the women health, the, the technology hasn't been really developed in compare with other areas, uh, and that's surprising. For example, these pesters hasn't been having any innovation since 50 years ago. So I guess it's important for um, women to seek all the solutions that they have and just take care of themselves. In Montreal, Faria Nakfi Mohammed, City News.